hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You're so worthy, you're so worthy. You're so worthy, you're so worthy. You're so worthy, you're so worthy. right there. Oh, I ought to hear the whole room going in right there. I say, give your neighbor a quick hot testimony. God has been good. That's why I praise him. God has been kind. He healed my body. He kept my mind. He kept me from danger seen and unseen. He kept me from danger seen and unseen. He kept me from danger seen and unseen. He kept me from cancer. He kept me from diabetes. He kept me from high blood pressure. He keeps me Y'all to stay on me, praise God. Look at somebody and say, Listen, can we go to the prayer room? Say, Can we go to that? Say, Can we go to the prayer room? Say, I need you to go to the prayer room. Let's go to the prayer room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Hold on. Put out the music. Musicians, hold it. in this room on this morning so right, right listen for a few seconds just a few just a few just a few just a few i need you if it's your link up and lock with your neighbor i need you while you're locked up with your neighbor without the music open up your mouth and let them hear you downtown open up your mouth and begin to give god praise right there without the music without the drum without the drum without the music without the singers i need you to open up your mouth and give god glory hallelujah god hallelujah god hallelujah god god i want you to come in the room i want you to move by your power move by your spirit in the name of jesus have your way god we don't need no music we don't even need a microphone but god all we need is the more of your spirit send your power in the room your holy ghost power your sanctifying power devil you are a lying wonder you shall not come in the room and distract the service for this is Pentecost Sunday somebody's going to be filled with fire and the Holy Ghost 
yourself in the name of Jesus and those who are already filled I just believe that we're going to get a refill in the name of Jesus somebody right here begin to declare with your mouth God is getting ready to fill and refill devil you a liar devil you a liar devil you a liar Devil, you a liar. Come out of here. Devil, you a liar. Oh, Jesus. 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 Oh, Oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. Now clap your hands, clap your hands, and give your good God a good praise. I said, give him 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 a good praise. A good God is a good praise. Hey. Now, mother, I feel a little better. Hallelujah. Now, listen. Now, let us go to the prayer room. Hallelujah. Clap your hands one more time to give God glory. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Come on, come on, clap your hands. Everybody clap your head while Everybody clap, 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 clap. In the power room. In the power room. In the power room. 
you want to play? In the prayer room. In the prayer room. Fight the music. In the prayer room. In the prayer room. In the I find my joy. I find my peace. When I step in. Jesus is there. Jesus is there. Jesus is there. Healing is there. I call on the Father. I get down on my knees. I get down on my knees. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. Jesus is there. When Mama ain't there. When Daddy ain't there. When Sandra ain't there. Clap your hands. Clap your hands, baby. Clap on if you know how to go to the prayer room. Clap your hands, clap your hands, baby.
you make it right. It's not cloudy right now. It looks cloudy right now. It looks cloudy right now. Right now, right now, 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 Father, we thank you for being the true and living God. God, we thank you for being the I am that you are. God, we thank you for being our provider, God. We thank you for being our way maker. We thank you for being our healer. God, we just want to say thank you, God, this morning, God. Everything that's going on around you, God, we want to let you know you still have some people that say thank you. God, we could take this opportunity to mama and complain to ask you for a little bit, but I don't need a car. I just want to say thank you. I don't need a house. I just want to say thank you for life, for health, and for strength. I want to say thank you. We want to lift you up because you've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for the activity of our limbs yesterday. We want to say thank you for breath in our bodies. We want to say thank you for being able to inhale and to exhale. We just want to say thank you. We may not have all the money that we want, but we thank you that we're not under a bridge. We just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. God, that what the devil meant for evil, you turned it around for our good. We want to thank you, God, that we went our own way and tried to do it another way. You was right there keeping us. And today, Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise and we give you all the honor. We lift up every person under the sound of my voice, Father. On this Pentecost Sunday, I lift up every elder. I lift up every minister, every man woman of God, every bishop, every apostle, every woman 
children of God in the north. I call you out of the north. I call you out of the east. I call you out of the west. And we decree and declare God on Pentecost Sunday. I heard you say in your word, upon this rock. You said in your word, upon this rock, I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You decree and declare that Satan, you won't prevail. You won't prevail against our men of God. You won't prevail against another leader. You won't prevail against another apostle. You won't prevail against the people of God. You decree it to be so now in the name of Jesus. And we lift up the name of Jesus because at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. And every tongue got to confess that you are the Lord, that you are Savior, that you're the risen King. So we lift you up now. We give you the glory here. We give you the praise now. We give you the honor now. In the name of Jesus, all over the house, everybody open up your mouth. I said open up your mouth Give your God some praise Father we thank you And we look at your mind And we look at your mind And we look at your mind And we Touch the lives and bodies of your people. And we thank you, God, that it's already done. It's already turned. And you already worked that thing out. And all over the house, can we clap our hands and give our God a great praise? Come on, you can do better than I said. Clap your hands just a little bit. I know it's high. And give your God this a great praise. Would you do me a favor? And tell your neighbor real quick, I know it's Pentecost Sunday, but tell your neighbor real quick, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't care what's going on, I'm sticking with the church. Come on, Rodney, come with me. I said, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I don't care what's going on right now, but I'm staying with the church. Oh, yes, I am. I'm sticking with the church, mother. I'm sticking with the church. 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 It's the church that saved my life. So I'm staying with the church. I want to take this time. I'm going to move. It's the church. It's all my life. I see. It's all. But I'm not going to be shy. Because the problem is the enemy want to make it seem like, anybody want to make it seem like that the church is dead. But I, they had a movie that said God's not dead. And I can prove to you that he's still alive. I said I can prove it to you that he's still alive. You want to know how? Because I should have been dead. Sleeping in my way. But by the grace of God, I'm still here. I said should have been dead. Sleeping in my grave. But it was nobody but Jesus. I'm still here. Would you do me a favor? I mean, you ain't got to move a whole lot. I know you have. But just look at somebody and say, I, I, it's nothing but God that did it. Look at somebody and say, it was nobody but God that did it. All right. I want to take this time out. To welcome you to the greatest church on this side of heaven. Can we welcome the people to the empowerment church? You can be seated because you're going to stand again in a minute. So get your breath. Praise God. Where Satan is defeated, God is exalted, and Jesus is Lord. We thank God for you. Y'all, with everything that's going around. It could be 200 degrees, but I've been, in hot, I've been in a lot of hot places doing a lot of stuff. Come on here. So if I'm going to be anywhere, I still want to be in church. They, come on here. They, they shoot people. People, people, people is leaving here in a grocery store, Brady. People is, the babies are leaving in school. So if I'm going to be anywhere, I'd rather be in church. Look at somebody and say, I'm sticking with the church. So we honor the Lord. It is Pentecost Sunday. And I believe God is getting ready to do something cataclysmic in here. 
this is this is kind of the atmosphere that I first got feel, Cooper. It was hot just like this in a much smaller building. I don't hear nobody. Y'all didn't get it for real. Y'all got it with all the lights and stuff. But dad, when we got it, it was hot just like this. And you ain't get it for real till your clothes was just was sweat. And you didn't care about your haircut. You didn't care about your shoes. You didn't care about how you smell. But you was at the altar. And a mother was on your left ear. And you had somebody pulling your throat on your stomach on your right ear. Saying, just say yes, Lord. And you had somebody else saying, just give it all up, baby. And you didn't leave that altar until something came over you. I said, Dad, we didn't get up until something came over you. And the truth of the matter is, you was ready to go halfway through it. But you had another mother say, no, no, that ain't it. There's something else in your belly. Out of your belly. I said, they used to tell us, out of your belly. Out of your belly. And we was at that altar. It was an atmosphere like this. We was at that altar. And I before, before you know it, you started thinking about it. You said, well, since I'm here, I might as well give up all what they're telling me to give up. And before you know it, you got a, you got a tingling all over your body. Was that just me? You got a tingling all over your body. And your mouth, your mouth began to move a little faster. And before you and before you knew it, before you knew it, something came coming out of your belly. Would you do me a favor? Look at somebody and say, that's how I got it. I didn't get it this cute way that everybody else got it. I'm grateful I grew up in a generation I did. Because we got it for real. So it's Pentecost Sunday, so we thank God. I'm moving. We thank God it's Pentecost. And we give God praise and honor. I want to do this. I want to give God praise and honor to the leadership of our house, Pastor Cooper, Executive Pastor, who's not here. I mean, the Assistant Pastor is not here, and Elder Hornsby, Elder Hill. We give God praise for you. Mother Cross is here. Can we give God praise for her?
Because when you have a real testimony, who will let it take how it works? Sometimes you need to get to the testimony, but others will say, I'm just glad to be here. Mother will say, I'm just glad to be here. Because the devil tried. But I want to let you know. to hear what God is doing. So I'm going to do this real quick. We're going to move real, real quick because I got to get out the way. I need two people that can give me a hot testimony. Look at your neighbor and say a hot testimony. I said something real quick. You ain't got to... Now, 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 back in the day, you used to tell us, you can't tell it all. Come on here. You can't tell it all. But just give us a hot testimony. Look at your neighbor and say hot testimony. Hot testimony means that mean he turned it around and he turned it around real quick. I said, I said, a hot testimony means he, he fixed it when you didn't think, when you didn't, when you was trying to go to the payday loan and you was trying to borrow some money, but that check came in a war from two, three years ago. And they told you that we've been looking for you, been trying to send you some money. And it came right, I was somebody who grabbed that real quick. I said, they came and said they was looking for you and been trying to send you some money. And a check popped up out of nowhere. Look at a neighbor one more time and say a hot testimony. That's a hot testimony. That's a hot testimony. So we need two people. Give me two people real quick. Just pop up real quick, and I'ma, I'ma do something. I'ma do something real quick. I'ma bring this mic to you, and we gonna move because it's pillar call Sunday. I talk about that. It's pillar call Sunday. It's pillar call Sunday, and people are leaving here. And I made up my mind. I'ma do everything I have to do. I'ma do everything I can to leave my mom. I told God, I said, God, I want to praise you so to what he got to consider. He got to consider if I took a larger from him, who going to praise me up like me? I said, I want to leave a sound in his soul to where if I leave, he going to say, well, who going to praise me like a larger do? Right. Okay, real quick. I need two people. Okay, here's my first one. You know, you want my first All right. Don't, don't wave your hand like that at me. Right, thank you. All right. I need two real quick, real quick. That can give me a hot testimony. A real hot one real quick. A real hot one real quick. Ooh, my God. You're going to be my first one. That's it. Come on. Clap your hands and give God praise for it. Hallelujah, saints. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. My quick little testimony. I was at work and we've been struggling getting people to come in for employment. So the higher ups decided to give the valets a raise. And we didn't even know we was going to get a raise. And then they came up to me and said, Tiffany, we're going to give you a dollar raise. And I said, okay, that's fine. You know, anything is everything. You know, I'm not going to complain about it. And then I got a letter saying that my utilities was going up in my apartment. And I said, okay, that's fine. That, you know, it is what it is. I got to stay here. And then they came, my boss came back the next week and said, instead of you getting a dollar raise, you're getting a five dollar raise. So I thank the Lord for increase. I thank the Lord for being on fire for them. Because this is Pentecost Sunday, right? We have fire, right? Let's praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Can we give God praise for what the we just heard? I said, can we give God praise real quick? Y'all don't know what a blessing. Because let me tell you how this works. We're not just doing this just to be doing this. But if you if you need any piece of what's already been released to your neighbor, you got to shout like it just hit your account. So if you need a raise, I need you to open up your mouth and give God praise like it just happened for you real quick. I said, give a praise like it just happened for you. Well, told my now, we give God protocol shot. I said, if you stay with God, he'll do it. I 
said, if you stay with God, he'll do it. Real quick, I need another one. If you stay with God, come on here. You give God praise. Clap your hands and give God praise. Come on, come on beautiful self. Come on, get your hand up here. My God, beautiful. Hallelujah, somebody. I give honor to God and to the power of this, the bishop. And everybody under the sound of my voice, look, the enemy trying to shut me up. But let me tell you something. When you are a threat to hell, when you are a threat to hell, he will try to take you out. When you are at your point of a breakthrough, he will try to take you out. I just simply thank God for life on today. Because let me tell you something, when I was breaking through, in the midst of me breaking through, I mean, everything was coming against me, everything, you know, and it couldn't stop me. The enemy couldn't stop me, and whatever he tried to use could not stop me. But let me tell you something, honey, I couldn't really breathe. I was having problems. I didn't have COVID. Let me just tell you, I have an a issue with my blood thickening up. Okay, so I go to the emergency room. I say, hey, uh, I told him exactly what it is. I said, look, I know I got a blood clot in my leg and I got a blood clot in my lung. I am not ashamed. I thank God for victory on today. Uh, we are overcomers with our testimonies wherever he is. However, so they, they, you know, check me in or whatever. So I had a blood clot in my left leg and my right leg and then my chest. Okay, so then they, you know, the, listen to me, the, the emergency room is so full, you know, they got you in the, in the highways and everything else, so when they admitted me, I was downstairs in the emergency room for three days before I even went up to the upstairs, so once I got upstairs, and I'm like, hey, I can't breathe, but look, it was me and Jesus throughout the night, you know, that was my life support, that was my breath, and then so I was like, look, something else is wrong, so they did, they did, um, a sonogram of my heart, and I had a clot in my heart. I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm looking at you. You got people that die from one, one blood clot. It will start in your calf, and it'll go, it can tie you up and kill you. So many people have died of one blood clot. And I thank God for life on today. You know what? And they was like, well, we're gonna, this is the pr procedure we're gonna do. And I was thinking, I was like, Lord, that don't sound right. It sound like them clots going to just go everywhere if they do that. You know, so I said, God, I know you as a healer. And I have history with you. And he has healed me. Do you hear me? When the ambulance came, that hospital couldn't handle it. So they had to transfer me somewhere else. Do you hear me? And when I got over there, they was like, oh, you walking. You don't need us, you know, trying to put me on bed rest. I'm like, I don't need to use this restroom in, the, in this bed. I can walk. So let's thank God for just the activities of our limbs. So when you are a threat to hell, do you hear me, girl? When you are a threat to hell, he's going to try any and everything to stop you and take you out. The devil is a lie. Can y'all give God praise? Come on, you need to give God praise. You sitting next to a miracle and don't even know it. I need everybody to give God praise real quick because God is still healing. I don't hear nobody saying that. God is still setting free. Give God praise, woman of God, my God. Her come on. She says she walked in with a blood clot. Couldn't hardly breathe in her heart. And my white woman of God and the people of God thought that you was you couldn't even walk. I don't hear nobody. Y'all better. We, our leader had a clock. Come on here. And the Lord healed him. I decree and declare that no, nothing will come back. I decree and declare 100% restoration. I decree and declare that your latter days will be greater than the former. And everything that the enemy owes to you, you're going to get it. I said everything that the enemy owes you. Can we give God a praise in the house real quick? But I kind of want to praise him because that kind of did something to me because I know what our leader went through. And the woman of God said that the people of God said that she had a clot in her heart and walked herself into the hospital. I don't hear nobody saying nothing. I remember when our leader was laid up, had a clot, checked himself into the hospital. And people are passing through here with just a cough and a cold. And you sit up here 
and you got the whole function of your limbs and you don't want to praise them. You got the whole capacity of your lungs and you don't want to praise them. But if you thank God that you got your body, that your body to function in a reasonable portion of your health and strength, I need you to open up your mouth and give God a praise real I wish, I wish I could. Can we give God praise standing all over the house? I'm not going to do it because I want to praise him, but they too hot. I'm, I want to praise him. Can we give God praise standing all over the house? Can we give God praise for our leader, our man of God, the lead pastor? Just have clap your hands for our pastor. Pastor Stephen A. Close. Hallelujah. Would you stand all over this building? Everyone is standing. Can you put my volume back in my mic? Hallelujah. Uh, put my volume back in I need us to bombard heaven uh, for the next 60 seconds uh, one of my members who I love uh, has been admitted into the hospital and we found out yesterday evening while I was at the church that her lung is collapsing I want the enemy to know I will not bury one of my members. You ain't got to pray. If you don't feel like praying, I'll ask you to step outside for a moment while those that can touch and agree can get a prayer through. Uh, it, Shanika, it is the sister to Deaconess Jackson. Deaconess Jackson, I want you to know we will not lose your sister. Deacon Wilson, I want you to know your wife will not die. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I need every intercessor that believe God can heal. I need you to open up your mouth like that was your sister, like that was your friend. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want the ushers praying. I, I want the media team praying. Come on. I want the deacons praying. I want the praise team praying. Open up your mouth and let's send a sound. Let's send a sound to UT Southwestern. Let's send a sound to the sixth floor. Let's send a sound of healing. Come on. Open up your mouth and hear Zion. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you now, God, asking you for a divine miracle. God, we need a miracle right now, Father. The first even go into surgery. We need you to lay your hands on her now, God. Lay your hands on her body, God. Touch everything inside of her. We command her lungs to line up with you, God. We command that she will start breathing, God, like never before. In the name of Jesus, breathe back into her, God. A fresh new level. Breathe back into her, God. A new level of anointing. You said in your Word, Father, by your stripes we are healed. We're believing you this morning, God, for an unusual healing, God. By the time we dismiss church, God, we want a praise report that you did it, God. We want a praise report, God, that you made a way, God. In the name of Jesus, now Satan, we don't speak to you because we have to, but we speak to you because because we can. Get your hands off of my sister. Get your hands off of my daughter. Get your hands off of my worshiper. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that you will be defeated. The blood of Jesus is against you. I said the blood is against you. I said the blood is against you. I said the blood is against you. You so hold Satan. The blood is against you. Now, Father, you be God. Huh? Touch her husband. Huh? Anoint him now. Huh? Give him the strength, God, huh? that he's going to need, God, huh? to lift up his wife. Huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? strengthen the kids. Huh? Strengthen her sister. Huh? Strengthen her brother-in-law. Huh? In the name of Jesus. Huh? But, Father, huh? we don't wait till the battle is over. Huh? But we give you the praise huh? right in this place. Huh? I want some people in here to open up your mouth huh? and give God a shout. Huh? Open up your mouth, Zion. Open your mouth. Huh? Open your mouth. I need 
some volume. Ha. I need some volume. I can't push too hard. Ha. I can't push too hard. Ha. Open up your mouth, fire. Ha. I said, open up your mouth. We believe in you for a praise report that she will get up, God, and start walking around the room. Give her the strength back, God, in the name of Jesus. Give her the strength back, God, in the name of Jesus. If you can heal her, Pastor, surely you can do it for her, God, in the name of Jesus. We say yes to you, God. Yes to your will, God. Yes to your way. We say yes to your God. Come on in the room on Pentecost Sunday and do what you want to do. Come on in the room, God, and loose your home. Give your mother Clark in the name of Jesus. Touch her body, God, that she won't need to carry around oxygen, but you will breathe into her body in the name of Jesus. We bind up blood clots in the name of Jesus. Your people shall live. Your people shall live. I am not God. Satan, we're not afraid of you, but we came on an assignment to get back in position in the name of Jesus. We're not afraid of you, Satan. Lose my family. Lose my children. Lose my sisters. Lose my brothers. Lose my co-workers. In the name of Jesus, somebody throw your head back and scream out, Jesus. Throw your head back and scream out, Jesus. Wilson, live! I'm speaking to Mother Clark, live! I'm speaking to your family, live! Somebody, look at another person and shout out live! You're gonna live to see it happen. Live, 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 live. Oh, y'all ain't ready. I'm at the wrong church this morning. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I don't care what the situation is. You're gonna live. Your family's gonna live. Your mother's gonna live. Your children is gonna live. Live, 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 live. Until one day, you're going to live. I speak over my auntie. you going to live. Don't let him praise him by himself. I 
want you to give God a praise like the enemy had just left your family. I want you to praise God so like the request on your family has just been reversed. Somebody give him a Give God a praise. This praise is for you, Deacon Wilson. This praise is for you, Deacon S. Jackson. Come on, Zion. Come on and clap your hands and give God praise. Be seated. I know it's hot. So I'm going to make this quick today. Uh, I know that God must be up to something. Because all of a sudden the AC went out. Yesterday we couldn't get no power on stage. We lost all power. Then I get the text message about Deaconess Wilson. I said, God, it must be up to something. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, excuse me for a moment if I seem to act up, but I just thought about the goodness of Jesus. Thank you. Clap your hands and give God praise. Clap your hands. Uh, but nevertheless, God is good all the time. God is good. I want some brothers in here. You don't know what it's like to have a wife in the hospital and you don't know if she's gonna live or die. I want some brothers to praise God on Deacon Wilson's behalf and get God to give him his strength back. Come on brothers, go for it, go for it. That God, come on man, come on. That God will give him his strength. That God will give him his Praise him, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Praise him, sir. Praise him. That's what I'm talking about. That's what you call unity. Now, I want some sisters in here that'll help Deacon Miss Jackson. You don't know what it's like to have a sister and the doctor give you a bad report. I want some sisters in here to get around Deaconess Jackson and go to praising God that she get her strength back. Go for 
I'm like I feel it. The media team going in. Praise him, y'all. Praise him, y'all. On your way to your seat. You thought it was over, women. Women, you thought it was over. I want you to praise God for mother's heart healing. I want you to put your feet on the floor for mother's heart healing. Come on, women. Come on, brothers. Come on and clap your hands and give God praise in here. Hallelujah. Let's try this again. gotta go. There is a word. I do gotta preach. Be seated. Be seated. 
Don't do that. Brother Hill, you can't dance like that. You can't do that. God gonna give you extra for what you're doing. He's gonna die. I dare y'all to go for a second round. Where you at, my sisters? Don't you let her shout by herself. Come on, Zion. Shanika's mom, but God said not so. Her mama didn't know she had a praying daughter, and God left her here for a reason. Deaconess Wilson, God said not so. You shall live. You shall live. Hallelujah. God bless you. Clap those hands. It's Pentecost Sunday. That's what I came here for. I came here, Alexis. I came here after the enemy. And I'm not going to stop until we put the devil under our feet. Sit down. Be seated. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. My soul loves Jesus. My, my soul loves Jesus. My, my soul loves Jesus, bless his name, yes, yes, I know we got sanctified folk in here, yes, yes. Yes, 